side of the Atlantic. He'll be known well at the end of this weekend because the yes. torque that that uh, vehicle exhibited as it uh, accelerated out of uh, Malcolm Corner was just staggering. Henry and I just looked at each other and shook our heads. Yeah, yeah massive suspension travel and he sort of almost lay it over uh, the inside front, pouring the air. Incredible. Here's the jukebox jury. Yeah, the Nissan Duke. This is uh, this has got the uh, the underpinnings of the GTR underneath. So it's uh, under pinnings of the it's Chris Hoyt. Um, or the other one. It's uh, it's El Tel, isn't it? It's Terry Grant, it um, who's going to come. I think he's going to do an entire climb on two wheels. I think he's going for a two-wheeled record, but with four wheels. Amazing. See what I mean. He did it a couple of years ago, didn't he, with Amanda Stretton? Um, clever branding under there. Look, the, the the Duke Nismo RS on the bottom of the chassis. Did it with a, a couple of years ago with Amanda Stretton, and um, he's got all sorts of records here, Terry. He's got the he's got the going up backwards rever uh, record, hasn't he? He's got the two wheel record. So you can see making. In the fairness, there hasn't been a lot of competition, but what no. he does is sensational. <laughs> making those vital corrections to the steering keeping the thing balanced in that crucial point on up on two wheels gets through a set of tires in one run uh, because well, of half the, a set of tires yeah, half of the <laughs> <laughs> well done oh good spot yeah the, put the, that on the board put the, that on the board the, the offside rubber is ruined at the end because of the uh, all the heat and the friction and the weight on those uh, shoulders the sidewalls of those tires i'm intrigued to know what um, tire pressures he runs in those they must be specially constructed anyway to uh, to cope with that uh, yeah, do you, force. Do you, yes i guess you need some compliance so they probably have to be soft wouldn't they or do you Which, bolt the bead to the rim like a trials car marcus i would have thought you probably did I'm going to challenge Terry to do it on the rims next year. Now, can he leave it parked against the wall? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Climb out. Isn't it extraordinary? How do, yeah, it's a, how do you practice that? How do you, how do, you do that for the first time? Not, not at home. No. <laughs> Many of you will have seen Terry Grant before. Uh, he has a, uh, a stunning uh, show that he takes all around the world. We've seen him in the little legend machine with the throttle stuck open and he climbs out and runs around on the roof, gets out, walks away and it donuts by itself and he gets back in and it's great to watch. Do you, do you think his headmistress at school said, now young Terry, what would you want to be when you leave? I, I want to be a stunt driver, miss. <laughs> yes. Well, we all said um, racing driver to the careers woman, didn't we, and got um, laughed out. One of, the, one of the kids at school said he wanted to be a horse and um, everyone just shook their head. Bizarre. I want to work. I, I did actually. Brilliant stuff. I did actually Absolutely awesome. I did actually tell my careers master I want to work in motorsport. Go and work at the local local car dealer and change some tyres. And I said, well, not quite motorsports. So uh, we left the conversation there. What did you say to your careers master, Henry? Oh, I, I, di I didn't get that far. I was expelled. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Reading autosport on a Thursday morning, I wonder why I failed my English A-level. Yes, double chemistry on a Thursday <laughs> afternoon was great fun. Yes. Um, right, let's go once again up to the top paddock where Bruce uh, has caught up with uh, stars from that last batch, and I'm hoping secretly that uh, Richard Petty is among them. Uh, Bruce, it's all yours.